It is a beautiful morning here in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. We've heard that it's very artsy, edgy, alternative, and just overall one of Europe's true gems that for whatever reason gets looked over by a lot of people. We are gonna make sure that Vilnius gets the attention it needs. We're gonna see everything that you need to see within the old town of Vilnius and a little bit around the new city as well. The country of Lithuania is a very religious place. It's predominantly Roman Catholic, but there is some Russian Orthodox influence here as well. And we're definitely gonna see that as we walk around and just see all the churches today. good old-fashioned bagel. Now, we haven't had a bagel since we've been back in the States, so needless to say, a very long time. And what better place to have one than the place they were invented? Most food historians believe that the bagel was invented in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth way, way back in the day. There are a ton of great places here to get a bagel, but we went to an authentic Jewish bakery, which we're so excited to try these bagels. We could tell right away that this place was just a good old-fashioned kosher bagel joint. And look at this thing. I mean, we haven't seen something like this in so long. We've been to a few places like Krakow that have their variations of the bagel, but it's not really the same thing as this. Like this, the color, the texture, the firm outside and the chewy middle. I am so excited for this first bite. Now there's a rich Jewish heritage here in Lithuania, going all the way back to when Poland and Lithuania were one. And don't get me wrong, I will never turn down a bagel in the Big Apple, but there's something about being right here in Vilnius, Lithuania. It feels a lot more authentic, like we're going all the way back to the roots of this amazing invention. The rich heritage of Judaism here in Lithuania has a terrible, heartbreaking chapter in very recent history in the 1930s and 1940s, when it's estimated that up to 95% of Lithuanian Jews were deported during the Holocaust. Here in Vilnius, the effect of that was felt very deeply for almost 70 years. What was once a thriving culture basically just disappeared from the city, and all that was left was a few street signs in Yiddish. The entire blueprint of the Lithuanian Jews here in Vilnius almost completely wiped out. When you consider this heartbreaking chapter in history, it's even more impactful to see Jewish roots being planted again here in Vilnius, and to see not just the bakeries and the delis, but Jewish neighborhoods, people coming back to Vilnius after so many years. We have been bombarded by pigeons. I threw one nut to that raven and we were ambushed. How do you guys eat your bagel? Are you team eat it as a sandwich or are you like me? Two open face sandwiches and eats it bite by bite. Personally for me, I like to eat it this way because it feels like you get more bagel and you savor it longer. Vilnius is an interesting juxtaposition. When you drive in, the first thing you see if you're coming from the north is a skyline, a really modern looking skyline. There's a lot of big tech companies here, a lot of startups, and just a lot of big business in general. However, when you see the old town for the first time, you just see church towers everywhere, so many church towers. I mean, even now, right where we're standing, there's a church this way, church tower that way. And right behind me, there's this church that just kind of blends in with the block. If you didn't look up and see those two towers, you might just think it's another building. We've just gotten our first glimpse of St. Catherine's Church. This isn't the largest or oldest church here in Vilnius, but it is my personal favorite. The vibrant colors on this thing, it just pops as soon as you see it all the way down the street. And I don't know what it is about this church's exterior, but it just demands your attention. We also caught it at a very good time with the sun on the side of the building. I've never seen a church this color. It's almost indescribable. It's not red, it's not orange, it's some hue in between, almost like a coral or a brick red but I don't even think those describe it. It's just completely unique. That's gonna be hard to top. One observation that Sydney and I have both made is that the three Baltic states, as they're known, are actually very different from each other. I think there's this common misnomer for people who haven't been to the Baltics, that they're all pretty similar, but really the only thing they have in common is the geography and the fact that they use the Euro. Their history, their culture, their language, they all speak their own language. And one of my favorite aspects about all three is that they each have their own very recognizable, very unique flag. Everything from the colors that are used to the story behind them, to how they very specifically represent the country itself. 
Vilnius is a place with so many bars, great places to hang out on the weekend. And when you have bars, you have beer. Lithuania has a variety of beer options, but we were told we have to try the black beer. We ordered one black beer and one traditional Lithuanian lager. Now the black beer was very unique in taste. It was heavy as you probably assumed, but it was actually really sweet, which I wasn't expecting at all. And I easily could have had another one. If it wasn't 1 p.m., I probably would have. Now another thing we were told about black beer is that you can't have it just by itself. You have to have some bar snacks to accompany the taste. So we tried some traditional Lithuanian bar snacks, fried bread, pig's ear, and of course, Lithuanian pickles. The fried bread was probably the star of the show. It was, I don't even know what I was expecting to be honest, but I wasn't expecting that. It was like a rye crouton almost, but it was very dense, very greasy, and there was like a creamy garlic sauce to accompany it. Just amazing, especially with the black beer. That's a bar snack right there. That's a proper bar snack. The pig's ear, which I had to try, Sydney was not brave enough to try, it tasted good. I, I liked the taste, it was a very smoky pork flavor, but man, that texture. It's like very gritty, very chewy. I felt like I was Mike Tyson out there, just like, it's like chomping on an ear. So I don't know if I would have gone with that one again, but the taste was nice. And it also came with some other smoked meats as well. But I can officially check that off my list. I've tried pig's ear in Lithuania. It's honestly just hard to comprehend all of these amazingly beautiful churches here. To stumble upon another one, the Svento Casimiro. This also has some Baroque elements, but you can see how it's very different. I just think it's so cool, all these colors and the vibrancy, the way that they pop when you see them at the end of the street. And we just caught a little bit of sunlight here at the end. What's kind of crazy about the Baltics, especially during this time of year, is the sun sets so early. We've just made it to the center of the Old Town and we've been walking for about an hour. We're stopping, taking in these sites, and this honestly feels like the biggest Old Town in all three of the Baltic capitals. I think it's safe to say Vilnius is not a day trip city. You're gonna need a couple days at least to take this all in. One of the truly magic aspects about old towns in Europe, and what really makes them so unique, is the fact that they're really unplanned. I mean, you gotta think about when these streets were originally built. This isn't grid street technology. There were no stoplights or anything like that. So a lot of times these streets are just chaotic. They're very curvy and windy, and you can kind of get lost just going down one street. So that's one of my favorite parts about being in an old town like this, is just being able to walk down a single street and get lost within it. I think it's pretty clear we underestimated how much there is to see here in Vilnius. This is a bigger city than we realized. Tomorrow we're heading to our 26th country this year, and all I have to say is that you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this. It's gonna be very cold where we're going next. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know when we upload. We don't know goodbye in Lithuanian, but bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Lithuanian, bye bye. <laughs>